Okay, so we're gonna make some uh, AN holes here. So what we do is we got this fitting, and this fitting is what the ones we're gonna go to. So what we do is we take our holes that's made for those adapters, and you line it up just about to the end there, and the same thing on the other side. And then we're gonna make that a bit of a tight loop. We'll adjust it a little bit later. Take your felt, make a mark. And then we can go to the bench and make up a hose. All right, so we got our mark on our hose. And what we're gonna do is grab some electrical tape and wrap it on either side of that line so that we know where to cut right in the center. And the reason you wanna do that with that electrical tape is because if you don't, these ends are gonna flare and get really sharp and be hard to put into the AN hoses. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna cut it off with my little wheel here. I'm gonna replace the wheel, get a longer one, and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so we got our hose cut now, took the electrical tape off. The next thing to do is take your AN fitting and thread this part apart. Then you take this end and you get it over here. Do it a little bit slowly. Any little metal pieces, you push them in. A little bit of twisting. Goes right in. Okay, so I want to push it in until it's all the way in the end there. A little bit of twisting. We get it there. Then you want to give it a little bit of lube on the inside of the hose. Put your fitting here inside the vise. And then you can thread this together. Most of it by hand. And then you grab the right size wrench, AN wrench. And do it the rest of the way. If you do this with a regular wrench, which you will find a size that will go over top, you will mar the aluminum in the fitting. So not a great idea. It will look terrible afterwards. Make sure you get it nice and tight. And that's how you make an AN fitting. Just like that. So now we're going to do the other side. Make sure we line everything up how we want it to line up from end to end. And it'll be good to go. Alright, and then there we go. We got two AN hoses made up and put it back into place. Um, looks pretty good. I wish I could have made that one a little shorter, but uh, yeah, they don't give me a lot of options here. So um, The next thing I'm going to have to do is figure out some rad hoses and uh, finish modifying the alternator bracket. So this little thing, remember I told you on LS engines you need to keep this steam port, little crossover tube and steam port. So what I'm gonna do, I think with this bad boy, is drill a little hole in the back of here, put a little NPT fitting in there, and then that's where that's gonna go. So just straightforward, simple, easy. Um, I'm probably gonna rob that little NPT fitting right there because it's black and it's anodized just like this stuff So it'll look really good in there. Um, I'll just find myself a little brass plug or something to put in that other one That would make more sense to me and Then I figured out through here. Guess what? There is no room to run a rad hose through there at all. So what I'm going to have to do is undo these four bolts on the water pump and clock it differently so that it can come out this bottom side and then I'll have to run a rad hose, big long rad hose down and over to here. And then same with the upper rad hose, have it come off of here, up and over this way. Kind of wish my rad was backwards that way but uh, that's what I got to do for now. So. 
you work with the parts you got, the rest of it, do what you can. So, yes, that's where we're at for now.